Okay, we got the walk around video of the 2017 Road Trek CS Adventurous XL Edition based on the Sprinter 3500 4x4. With about 66,000 miles on the clock. Exterior wise, there's very little blemishes to note. On the driver's side, you've got your compartment down here that deals with the gas and the gray and black water. For your electric hook up at the campsite. You got an outside shower here. That's a water heater exhaust. Uh, we have the front seats turn around. Uh, so you can put a table there to sit down, like a breakfast nook. Um, it's got, there's a button right here. You hear that pump? That's what actually grinds uh, your black water. So your hose that gets rid of the black water is actually rather small. It's only like a two inch. So it makes it super convenient. Um, to dispose of the black and gray water and uh, dump sites or RV sites as it just pumps it out. Um, there's a little blemish here on the hood. Aside from that, just the expected road chips. But certainly nothing major. It's got the awning and the entire roof is uh, multiple solar panels, which makes these rig uh, self-sustainable um, on the road. So there's the front seats that turn around to make a little breakfast nook. It's a cabinet on top. Those are your fuses on the top. Uh, this right here is a insulation that we put on the windshield. And these are the curtains to make this area private when you're camping. And you got the uh, microwave convection, convection oven, um, which works really well. And then your refrigerator full full-size um, refrigerator with freezer and fridge which you don't think about those kind of things but once you're on the road it's super convenient to have a quote-unquote full-size refrigerator so uh, turning around here you enter the kitchen area on the right with a sink and um, it's got also a drinking water that heats it up electronically. Cold water on the top is the panel for the 
uh, solar panel connections. Then it is a gas stove, which is super convenient. Um, it does come with this little um, candle that has 15 different videos explaining how everything works, which was super useful whenever we acquired it. Um, we drove it all the way from Anchorage, Alaska down to Texas over the summer. So got tons of use and um, very well used to it. Just absolutely awesome rig. Um, it's got the panel here. Uh, this is your 110 inverter. And then your um, lights and um, water and gas meter. So on this side is your bathroom, which that's your gear lock for the, when you're on the road. Uh, it does have a shower and a full toilet and a heater and it's super convenient uh, to just have that on the road. And back, uh, super versatile in the sense that you have um, seats on either side and then this nice bench um, that creates a dining area. Tons of cabinets, which we very much appreciated that. It's, it seems like you never have enough cabinets on the road. Here's like a coat rack as soon as you enter. Um, the bathroom and all your kitchen cabinetry. Um, a cabinet there for food and then tons of overhead cabinet, coat cabinet also. It is fitted with a uh, factory flat screen with DVD player. Here's your AC control, which is up here. And then one of the nicest things about this rig is this little panel here, which it is a water heater, but most importantly, it's a floor heater. So uh, we had some cold nights in Alaska and this is super convenient because you can choose either here uh, to do gas or electric. And then what that does, you set up your temperature and then it keeps your floor heated, um, which then we find that we had absolutely no use for the space heater um, cause the, uh, floor would just keep the temperature super nice and very comfortable, uh, in the whole rig. Back here, uh, windows with two style, um, blinds, darker and lighter on both sides, um, to get some light or to get full night. Uh, which they actually work rather well. Alaska, uh, you have almost 24 hours sun. And um, so those actually give you um, good enough darkness inside to sleep, uh, even though it never really gets totally dark. Um, it's got a secret compartment there. Um, so an additional cabinetry, as you can hopefully tell from the pictures, all this stuff flattens out. You can obviously raise that, take the headrest off, and then you have beautiful view where you can lay down. If you're back up to like a beautiful mountain or a river or lake or the ocean. Um, so the button is right here. And the way this works is all you do is just flatten that out 
electronically. So this goes all the way down. And then the table goes underneath that bench and you can make this a full, um, it's really a king size. It's much bigger than um, a queen. Um, it may be even bigger than a king. Uh, we got two little ones and we can all lay there if needed. Um, we do have a, what's called like a bunk. Um, we'll post a photo of it, but the way that works is um, you turn this around and then it makes two beds, um, two bunk beds for kids which worked out excellent during the trip. Um, the only thing that I believe I'm missing is your fresh water source. Um, it's right here. And so you fill this out. We were very conscious of always um, filling up pot, uh, filtered and portable water you can buy a filter that kind of sits on the host bib and then you always have drinking water um, and then it has the awning which works on the switch over there it's electric and then if you open it the whole way you have these legs that attach to this side and the other side to secure it from the wind um, but certainly it's got tons of convenient little aspects that makes it makes the travel super fun even for people that are not so outdoorsy um, but we love the outdoors and we like to camp on riverbeds and out by the beach and kind of off the path and this is certainly one of the best rigs um, to do that for two important reasons so it is a four-wheel drive which is right there uh, so four-wheel drive and low which um, it's a lot more capable than I expected it to be um, but it certainly got us to some cool places and then that little blue button right there it's also super convenient because since everything is electric so the whole roof panel is um, set up with solar panels um, so you can run the AC and uh, all your electronics and it was probably about two nights well two days one night before this by the second night with that you turn the little blue button on and then the truck turns itself whenever the batteries are low and then it charges them up and then it shuts off on its own so it's it's um it's got these giant alternators and um it charges the whole system um it's got a lot of uh battery storage um i think it's two on the front and two down below in the chassis. Um, two very lar large ones, they may be two on each side, so that may be six. Um, so they last, uh, the last was for a full two days worth of use. The second night, it just started on its own, charged them up, and then it shut off. The engine is very quiet. Um, so it makes that uh, very convenient because then you don't have a need for generator um the whole system is integrated so to start it it's super quiet um that's it ac works uh radio works um, but the beauty again is, 
and hopefully you guys can appreciate it from the video but very quiet uh, diesel engine so even when it turned on at night to recharge the batteries it was um, it didn't even wake up the kids and I didn't notice that my wife said she did um, but it's uh, very convenient and it's those little things in the road that make a big difference to having a very enjoyable adventure and camping. but uh, there's just extra batteries and not much to see in the vans and then it's kind of tucked in there um, but certainly ultra reliable um, starts right up every time all we have to do uh, during our ownership and Miles, we put probably close to eight or nine thousand miles on our Alaska to Texas trip. Um, we ended up going all over Alaska and actually ended up in Pebble before. So I went through California uh, through Car Week and then make it back to Texas. Um, and the only thing we had to do aside from regular maintenance, which is um, fluids oil change and we replace the uh, the battery for the uh, the 12 volt aside from that just ultra reliable which is the beauty about these uh, sprinter vans